Oh boy. Okay. Ah, oh, crap. Whoops. I got some stuff. We're in the, like, basement area now. That's the hotel. <clears throat> Apparently we haven't cleared the lobby of the hotel. We need to keep an eye on that. Um, where am I? Did I not show up on this map like I did the other one? Oh, there I am. And that's the thing I can't get. I'm here. This is red because I can't pick up this health thing here. There's apparently a door. It's not a door up here. is incomplete. To all personnel due to the construction of the new stages, this blast door has been locked using a punch card combination. Please insert the appropriate punch cards into the three terminals to open the door. In the event that you have lost your punch cards, this machine can be used to print replacements. <coughs> okay. So I need to get the power run into that, and then use these punch cards to open it. that door. No, you're not.
away from me, Norman. You're no, the worst no. one. No. I don't feel that in the morning. I like Jeez. it. Puppets, Pirate's Cove, A Triumph for the Family by Richard Lightsbury. Four out of five stars. As the My Friendly Neighborhood franchise grows, it was inevitable for Gerswald's precocious puppets to make the move to the big screen. Fortunately, their first outing is appealing to more than just the younger crowd. Everything from the sumptuous sets to the scintillating story brings the swashbuckling spirit into the theater in a way that both children and adults can appreciate. The plot centers around a young lad named Clark, played by Jerry Love from Everyone fame, who sets sail with the puppets in search of treasure. They soon, however, discover that the terrifying Captain Crocodile is in control of the ship, and it's up to Clark and his plucky sea hand friend Ricky to continue on four. Okay. <clears throat> He's the one who fell out of there. There's a lockbox on the door. I need to find keys. We got two lockboxes now that need a key. something in here. the other part that other building the mystic maze we're gonna take a picture of that lid flips open when there's a the correct combination Should I just go back and try to do that now?
can't go back. This slide brought me down, and I can't go back that way. I'm never gonna watch the Muppets again. Oh, hey, Jesse. I think it's very clearly Ray. He's like the bird. He's big and scary. Look, he doesn't actually do anything. Okay, I hope you have fun. Did he float? Bond, you don't have to be afraid of me. You don't even want the show to be on there, do you? It's more work for you. You don't want to have to do more work. What's up? Jeez, oh. oh. that gave me a scare. What was that? Okay, Ray comes out of the big pipes. Need one more piece for. I need this Boy, piece. Boy, do I have just a thing for you! 
Oh, shoot. Sleeping can be the best part of your day. I always start by getting ready for bed. First, I get my PJs on so I can be warm and comfy all night. Next, I go to the bathroom and grab my toothbrush. Fucking morning. Condiments. I eat the sauce. Then I start brushing my teeth. Get every single part of your mouth covered and scrub the worst inside the sauce with the skin on your mouth. Then you're all done. Leave it so it can form a protective layer during the night. Now you're all ready to go. Welcome, welcome, welcome to to our our wedding. Oh, oh, oh shit! No, what the fuck? Why did that happen? Why are there so many Normans? Hey Ray. Hey bud. I need to go all the way down there. Make a left. Oh, okay, you can hit me. from my heart. It's gotta be. I'm gonna get this back. Doesn't seem right. There's something up there. Two square. Square is plus two, triangle is minus one, and circle is plus six. I'm gonna take a picture of this too. My brain isn't wanting to figure it out today. Wait, 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 wait. 
That's minus one. All right, four minus one. That's three. It's six, eight, ten. This one's either nine or seven. Six, eight, seven. We did it! We did it! Yay! No, oh, my sounds are broken. Thank you. Good job. <sighs> Appreciate it. Wow. Wonder how deep this goes. where the fun begins. Oh, why did that scare me so bad? I don't have triangle key apparently.
triangle door there. This motherfucker is gonna jump scare me. He's just a, he's another fucking Norman. Got some more duct tape. Strange kind of breakup box. here. <coughs> Please don't grab me, Ray. There's a boat here. I don't think I have anything that's going to help me with what I left in there.
I'm pretty sure it's just those light boxes that I still can't open. This one's the shotgun, which I can't pick up, I already have one. And then it's the light box in the other room. I'm gonna take the boat again. Ray serious fuck y'all. I need power for that too. Hey Catherine. That happens a lot. I stalled a little bit for you. We haven't... We got to a new area. And I got the solution to a puzzle in another area that we can't get back to yet. But other than that, we're still in the sewers. We've encountered Ray, who lives in the bigger pipes. He's very scary. And we've just got a lot of little lock boxes we can't open. And like that. Is it a different boat or does this boat that I'm near work for all of them? So I'd like to go there, I think. Uh, I'm sure I didn't miss anything last time. I did. 
letter to the editor. As the mother of a four-year-old who is devoted to my friendly neighborhood, I am frightened by the tone of the morals of on that show. Just yesterday, one of the characters said, You should always think of others before yourself, even when it's uncomfortable. But what if someone takes advantage of you for doing that? What if doing what's uncomfortable ends up exposing you to hurt and danger? Is it really a good idea to teach children to be so reckless with their own well-being? I want my daughter to live the fullest life she can, so I don't want some TV producer filling her head with dangerous, self-sabotaging ideas. I think from now on she'll watch something else. Interesting. Stairs there. Oh, this is a triangle door. super know what to do. 